So this morning we're up bright and early again because we are leaving the island of Utila and we are heading all the way to El Salvador. So we were actually going to leave yesterday but due to the manifestations in Honduras the shuttle company that we were using um, cancelled on us yesterday because they said we may get stuck badly in traffic so we're trying again today they're going to meet us off the ferry and uh, we just have to go with it you know sometimes these things happen so when you're traveling um, it's quite hard between countries to use up exactly the right amount of currency so you're not left with loads or bits when you leave uh, but this morning we decided because we may get stuck um, in Honduras for a day and we're going to take out a little bit of spare just so we've got money for food and water yeah this has been probably the part of our adventure where we actually feel like we're really on holiday we have had the opportunity to dive and see some of the most beautiful corals So the ticket office is just on the left of the ferry and they recommend that you get there half an hour before the boat leaves in off season, longer if it's high season. So we've had a fabulous time on the island of Utila and I would definitely recommend coming here if you come to Central America and indeed Honduras. Yeah, we've had a great time. It's literally been like the holiday part of the adventure. Yeah, it really has. We'd come back for sure for a, for, yeah. a, for a nice break. And you may be wondering, you're always on holiday. Why do you need a holiday from your holiday? Well, traveling is a holiday, but it's also tiring. You know, when you have those holidays, when you go back home for a rest, yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, I think the thing with backpacking, um, you don't book into a hotel and unpack. You sort of live out of your rucksack. So um, because we've actually stayed here for a whole week and due to the manifestations we stayed an extra day, we actually um, managed to unpack our rucksacks a little bit and our, even our wash bag ended up being yeah. splayed out in <laughs> the did. bathroom at our it hostel. That, that does not happen often. We literally use something, put it back because we're always moving. So yeah, I think that's why I would describe it more of a holiday. Yeah, and we tend, and we tend to move every, every couple of days when yeah. we're on the road day of traveling, day of filming, day of video making, and then we move again. Yeah, we've so really linked in with some of the local guys yeah, here as well. So we exactly, you engage more with the locals yeah, really when do. you get to stay still for a little bit longer. So thumbs up, Utila, we'll be back. Yeah. After a 45 minute boat ride, we have arrived back on the mainland. Now we just got to collect our bags and hopefully there should be a shuttle bus driver waiting for us. If all goes according to plan. So the first part of our adventure is we have been put into a taxi by the Ronnie shuttle company and we're off to Wendy's, yeah, the restaurant Wendy's where we're going to coordinate different buses and get on the right shuttle bus to San Salvador. <laughs> so after a short taxi ride we have arrived at Wendy's and now I assume we just wait so it's just after 10 o'clock, we're getting the bus loaded, the little shuttle bus has arrived, we're getting the bags on the roof, the weather is already boiling. Hey amigo, how are you? How are you? I'm good my friend, you? I'm fine, thanks. We got you again, or you got us again. Oh, 
from here to Brunese is two hours and a half. And then we switch of cars. The people that is going to Leon, the people that is going to Salvador, people that is going to Guatemala. And there will be another shuttle waiting for you. That is our middle point. Yeah. So if you need something, just let me know. We're back at the petrol station where we did the famous cheese and toast bar. But well, hopefully we won't be waiting four hours today. Might be where last time. Quick stop to buy snacks. Snacks. El lunes, vamos a bailarlo. Vamos a bailarlo. It's Ricky Baker on the beat. It's difficult to simulate lo que pasa por mi mente. So it's about 1.30 and it's time for a bit of a lunch pit stop which is really good because my bum is numb. Long old travel day today. Just stop for some chicken and chips. In fact we've been entertained by two things. First of all the, the driver went into a whole singing session. like Spanish opera songs, or it sounded like. And uh, the second of the <laughs> sounds as we go around the corner. Back on the party bus. <laughs> <laughs> Tomando por noches enteras, tratando de sacar tu amor, pero eso me desespera. The problem is with the GoPro 7 is that it's excellent stabilization, so you won't actually be able to gauge how bouncy this road is. But it's bouncy. Look at the Christmas tree, that might help. across a broken down car or two or three so our driver has very kindly gone to get his toolkit and he's helping his fellow broken down people so 12 hours after we left our hostel this morning on Utila it is now Eight o'clock at night, we left at six this morning, got the seven o'clock boat. And we have arrived in, what is the name of the town? San Lorenzo. So we're in San Lorenzo, and because the it's late and the bus that we were on, some of the guys were going to Nicaragua, we're going to El Salvador in the morning. So they've given us this room free of charge. We're gonna sleep here tonight, and then 6.30 tomorrow morning, we're heading back to El Salvador, back to San Salvador. Yay! So it's been a long day. Yeah, and, and this is included in the price of our Rooney ticket. Rooney yeah. sh shuttles seem to monopolize the whole uh, <coughs> shuttle industry around um, Belize and they do. Utila and Honduras, El Salvador and Nicaragua. So if you yeah, if you if you want to book, it's best to book with them direct rather than going through a tour agency. Yeah. And if you book with them direct and you use them the second time, you get a ten percent discount. Yeah. If you book direct, but if you go through a tour agency, you don't get the, t the discount. It's really late, so we will see you in the morning. Okay, the next morning. It's six o'clock in the morning and we're just about to get the bus for the last leg of the journey up to El Salvador. <laughs> so let's go. I haven't woken up yet at all.
woken up this morning, we've got a minibus that have appeared outside the door, we have a fresh driver and um, we're going to start making our way towards the outside of the So the journey begins. So we've just arrived at the border and we've just given our passports and officially left Honduras so we're just going over to El Salvador. So at the borders they have money changes if you've got any leftover holiday money it's always handy just to change them to get some local currency. So we've now arrived at the border of El Salvador just got to get the passport stamped and then we're off to La Libertad. Actually the bus goes to El Tunco which is the coastal town that we've already filmed at but we're heading back to San Salvador um, to do some filming there so we're going to try and pick up a bus from La Libertad to San Salvador. And I'm going to try and work out how many border crossings we've done. We've, we've done a few. We've got a passport <laughs> full of stamps now. <laughs> In fact, we've worked out it's 10 border crossings. It just feels more because like now, we're just stamping out of Honduras and stamping into El Salvador. So it's actually doubles in some places. So we just got our stamp into El Salvador and they gave us a free tourist map, which is like super cool because now we can figure out other places that we're going to go and visit. I think they saw all the stamps <laughs> and thought, they're, they're serious. <laughs> I'm still in Honduras, according to my phone. I'm still, still got Honduras up there even though we stamped into El Salvador because uh, my telephone sim gives me free calls to the UK mobile or house landline uh, with my sim deal and also I can text um, for free in 72 countries so El Salvador is one of those countries Honduras is not so I'm really eager to get my El Salvador back. Another good reason to come to El Salvador if you're go. on my sim. And we're back on the bus. Hi guys! So we've arrived in La Libertad and we are just about to uh, cross the road and try and get the minibus to San Salvador. We're just hanging out at the bus stop. We think we've got about 20 minutes because we just missed a bus and uh, all is good. Yeah, it literally pulled out as we ran to the bus stop. <laughs> no amount of waving and shouting stopped him. So we've made it onto the little micro bus which has aircon and it's only $1.50 um, from La Libertad to San Salvador and it's bus number 102A. We've managed to get on with our bags just through the turnstile. <laughs> So amazingly, the bus has dropped us off only a few blocks from where we're actually staying. So we're just walking down the road, five blocks and we should be at our hostel. Everyone's so I know, they were so nice. They just stopped and let us across the road because the road is like super busy. And it's kind of hard to run with your, with your backpacks on. Did and you, the heavens are just about to open, I think. You have to say about my Spanish. Um, what about your Spanish? I didn't know how to say where is the bell, so I said where is the ding ding? So they shut, they pointed to it for us. Yeah, donde es la ding ding? Si. Sí. Gracias. So we found the uh, 
gated complex that the hostel is in. And for those of you that remember, we stayed here when we stayed in San Salvador last time and we had such a good time that we've come back and it's very comfortable, very relaxing and good internet. So we're gonna have a couple of chill days and plan some tours and some trips out here in El Salvador. Ha 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 ha. 